but I love the cock. That could always work. Um, well, that's really my nice. password, so don't log into my Facebook. <laughs> Just leave I love the cock alone, please. Yeah. At Tristan Grace. Uh, <laughs> at Tristan Grace. Um, yeah, so uh, it's, it's, there's not a lot to say here. It's just that the very fact that this guy got... He, he's 20 years, 20 years. And he's like... Up to 20 years. 22 year old. 22 year old. And he just did it for fun. He just thought, oh, this will be funny. Like, it was, it was on 4chan or something. I remember reading about the original stories. Like, that's not cool. Yeah. Like, I mean, what, what is it? People like, like rape and murder people? Like, 11 and a half years? Yeah, but and how fucking annoying is it hearing about Sarah Palin every freaking week or so? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's always around everywhere. Who but gives this a is, shit? This is important though. She is the most bimbo fucking third rate politician <laughs> ever. Uh, she, they she, obviously she, 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 just she, she, chose her for, you know, she's a woman. She can relate to and, Yeah, she can relate because she's all country, you know, redneck. Damn straight. No, well, th this is, I think, might actually be setting a, a dangerous precedent uh, for the future. That uh, if you can actually just do something as this basic, it really isn't considered hacking. Like, you're literally, he was just guessing yeah. words, and then he got through, and he was like, oh, cool. Then he stupidly posted it to the web. He was like, oh, guys, check out, I've just got inside Sarah Palin's email. Well, you should have done that carefully, yeah. It, yeah, but well, even doing it carefully, it's like just that you could be called a hacker <laughs> doing all this, like some of the basic stuff. This, this this worries me on a bit, that especially, uh, sure, it is the Vice President of the United States. I mean, you have to be a bit of a dumbass to be actually posting it up there, but... Yeah. If this is well, considered hacking, that I mean, I'm not proud, but I may have in my teenage years guessed certain people's <laughs> uh, secret questions whose email I wanted to access, because... Oh, dude, hacking is I fun. liked them. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's well, I, 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 I did, did, did the hacking, but I got into a guy in Russia. I was kind of cool. He was, he was doing small business and I got is into this, his thing. Is this hacking or...? Yeah, I, I did, um, I was just a script kitty pretty much, but I, I put in, um, uh... And script kitties. Yeah, I, I, I got into his computer, the port or something, I got, I, I can't remember, it was, a, cool. it was one of those programs. But yeah, got in, got in, um, to his, uh, business, it was, it was kind of funny, I was, I was a little <laughs> nice. bit scared because I was showing off to my uncle at the time. I didn't think I'd actually get as far as I did, I did, and it was very, um, interesting. Yeah, awesome. I, I, dangerous precedent. Watch out, like, oh, well, what, what do you guys think? Like, I mean, come on. This can be considered hacking, this can be considered actually a 20 year offense. Eesh. Anyway. Well, then again, privacy is diminishing. Oh, yeah, no. Mm. I found this, uh, this cool site just recently, actually, where you, you type in your, your Facebook alias and it tells you exactly what the public API has access to with your data. Oh. That was really cool. It, it knew, like, exactly, you know, my work, my history, it found some statuses, not a lot. It could see, um, what was the other thing? Uh, family, friends, maybe? Oh no, it, but it saw a hell of a lot. Okay. And I was a little concerned. It's watching you. Yeah, even though I well, like- Isn't that what Facebook does though? That I mean, it brings it, that's the whole like thing and all of the new stuff. It brings whatever you do on Facebook yeah. to every website. Well, see, Zuckerberg has the same idea. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's like, you diminish privacy, you get more sharing, you get more data flowing, you mm -hmm. get more chance to make cool shit with that stuff. Mm. And I agree with that, kind of like, privacy has to diminish, like you want privacy to a point, but you don't want to have to, you, you want some cool shit to come out of it, you don't want to be like... Literally cool shit. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you don't want to be like a private like scat porn. Okay. I do. But you don't want people to know about you liking scat porn, do you? Oh. Unless you can link in with, you know, <laughs> like-minded scat porn enthusiasts. Oh. Oh, see. Well, see, there you go, actually. The, like, the, <laughs> the social uh, social stigma of liking scat porn might actually be diminished by actually connecting with yeah. other scat porn enthusiasts. We could meet together and have a scat porn emporium. Oh. Could pee off the and balcony. You, you won't have any discrimination well, again anymore. No, not really. Okay. Well, then we could share that and get other scat porn <laughs> emporiums to actually meet up. Emporium. Sure. Emporium of scat. That word is scaring me more than the word scat. Mm, I'm just imagining Emporium. like a Greek Colosseum of people just like shitting into the sun. Welcome to the democracy. <laughs> Tasty. That was a bad joke. Anyway, next story. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, that, that was the story, wasn't it? Oh no, you were just no, talking I'm about Facebook. No, I'm going to a new story. New oh, story, new okay. story. Can I get a new story? No, you Sweet. can't. You really hey, can't. Yeah. You guys know about uh, captures. No. Captures, shut the fuck up. I don't, I don't know what a capture is. <laughs> captures, okay, when you sign up for stuff, uh, to make sure that you're human, you have to fill out those little crazy things where the, the text is all like squiggly and stuff and you can barely read it. And they're That's really seriously all you have to do? 
Yeah. Who the hell am I being exposing myself to? <laughs> I swear I put on the wrong toolbar. It's like captures with like, you know, shorty genitals or something. No, it's twirl your penis three times clockwise, two times anti-clockwise, and four times up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I hate doing it for every time I log into something. <laughs> there has to be better ways. We have to make that. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's traumatic enough! <laughs> Alright, capture. Uh, yeah, I'm going on. And there's this awesome company called ReCapture, but I don't think they're going to be using this. ReCapture, what they do is they, they scan a whole bunch of books. They're linked. I think Google bought them out. The dude behind it's really awesome. I like talked to me a few times on Facebook. Um, but what they do is they scan random uh, words in books. One, one, one word they know, uh, well, the computer knows what it is. The other word is a scan from the book, but you can't tell which one's which. So when you type them both in, if you get the first word right, it then assumes that you've got the second word right, which is you basically translating or writing out the, the scanned book. So they're actually translating, I mean, sorry, not translating, digitizing books using this recapture model. But I saw this cool thing, which is a company called Ad Copy. It's a shitty name. But anyway, um, and they're using captures but embedding advertising in them, which is just fucking genius. Like, It'll be interesting to see how far they, these guys go. So, for example, what I mean by this is when you when you go to sign up for something and you see that capture form, it might have words like you know you have to enter in you know I'm loving it for McDonald's or what you said see, like you know, drink I Pepsi, love Pepsi yeah. or yeah drink Coke or like I mean that yeah. is ultimate yeah ultimate right on the brain. So you, right you have to sign up for something you say yeah I love the cock. And it's, it is doing that whole psychological yeah. thing that advertisers love of actually linking what you're hearing and the message to physical actions. Like, you're actually, genius. you're actually typing it in. Absolute genius. So that's pretty crazy. And, and I think this sort of stuff, like, like the whole capture system, the, especially recapture, oh my god, that is fucking amazing. That's, uh, human computing is the, is the whole idea behind it. Look up, look up the guy behind it. He's done a whole lot of other things. There's this thing called mm. WAP, uh, Games with a Purpose, and he's trying to make games where mm. the the result of the game of you just playing it actually helps do stuff. But yeah, this stuff's... Uh, I can see corporate entities and advertisers actually trying to infiltrate more of this, especially with the gaming points system mm. that we've talked about before. 